Greetings, people. It's Jared here, Wolfgang One, back to do another Transformers review. Um, apologies if there's a bit of an echo here. I'm sitting recording this intro at work without my main um, external microphone. So I'm sitting in the office. It's all probably a little bit, ooh, echo, echo. Anyway, um, today's review, yes. I'm, today I am reviewing um, another one of the Studio Series 86 figures, um, mostly because I'm surprised I haven't got around to it yet, and also because I just want to get rid of the box because it's taken up space and I've got other boxes I want to get rid of. So I thought I'd get this review out of the way as a sort of a filler review, if you will. Um, so we're going to be taking a look today at a figure that, you know, is for the most part okay, but a lot of people have said has been, well, was most, for the most part, lacklustre. And I can sort of see what they mean. So we are going to get in today for the review for Studio Series 86, Blur. Right, this is Blur in his um, Studio Series 86 box. Um, I'm mostly doing this review just so I can get rid of this bloody packaging. I've had it for ages. It's taking up room for no reason, and it's doing my head in. Um, it's a standard 86 uh, Studio Series box. Um, you've got some nice artwork just on the front here. That artwork is duplicated on the sides, and uh, you get a little bit of a blurb on the back with um, his alt mode and robot mode. Um, big screen inspired scale, detail, and backdrop. Um, Blur defends Autobot City until reinforcements arrive. So his, his backing, um, his uh, display backing is the first shot where he's introduced Autobot City with Magnus, Perceptor and Spring and all the others. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a decent box. You know, figure looks good in it. Um, it remains to be seen whether or not the figure lives up to the expectation of what is contained within the box. I wish you'll have a look. Um, yeah, so not really a lot to say about this. I mean, if you've seen one Studio Series 86 box or Studio Series box in general, you've seen pretty much all of them. So I think we're just going to get straight on into taking him out of his plastic prison and getting onto the figure itself. Okay, so here is Studio Series 86 Blur in his alt mode. Um, it looks like a pretty decent, faithful recreation of his alt mode from the movie, actually, I've got to say. Um, this, this figure isn't without a few issues. I mean, I, I appreciate the fact that they actually tried to give a sort of semi-accurate representation of Blur. And this has been remoulded a couple of times um, to better suit other styles and um, and things like that, uh, other incarnations of, of Blur. Um, this one, I think the alt mode does it better than the robot mode, uh, weirdly enough. He's got a very, very strange look on his face in robot mode, and things like that, which doesn't really necessarily suggest Blur. It doesn't quite look like Blur in the face. Um, everything else seems mostly on point. Um, some decent colours here. Um, the the two-tone blue uh, works very, very well. Complements, it's, complements itself very well. It's coming out slightly darker on the camera than it actually is in real life. In real life, the the light blue is a very, very light blue. Um, but apart from that, yeah, that, that's him there. He's got a very nice little uh, tampered all, but simple just there. I mean, I was tempted to try and put maybe a silver one here somewhere. Um, or maybe just like a standard red one. I don't know, because that one there is, is very, very small. Um, He's got a nice little cockpit just there with no real sculpted detail in it whatsoever for the uh, for the cockpit. But he's got a nice little seating area just there. Um, yeah, um, the alt mode, as I said, does it better than the robot mode. There are a couple of faults still with the, the alt mode, which I will come on to. First of all, I'm just going to show some of the things that um, Studio Series 86 Blur came with. Um, he came with uh, one instruction booklet which I should probably pay attention to before I try to transform this, even though it's not complicated. But whatever, one of those. He comes with his uh, uh, a white rifle, like sort of white moulded plastic, which rifle. And he comes with his little um, shuttle repair welding tool that fits over his arm uh, in that one split second scene where he actually used it. So nice little touch there, I suppose, in terms of the accessories. Um, T. One of the things that um, lets this down is the attack mode. Now, there, there are benefits, and there are um, what it gives with one hand, it clearly takes away with the other in terms of the attack mode because it's actually pretty cool weapon storage and uh, part storage. So, what we do is we we will put this gun uh, underneath on this little tab just here and like slide it into this little thing just here, like that. And then this section will sit very, very nicely. These two uh, posts here will sit very nicely into these two ports on the underside, just like that, underneath, and then that he holds all his weapons and everything in one go. But that is the attack mode. Um, and as attack modes go, it's a pretty shit one. You know how I feel about attack modes in general. This one really, really doesn't work. 
Um, it's a shame that you've got all this underneath really because it would have been nice to have turned the rifle round and underneath and then put this on here. Um, so to proper clear away the uh, the weapons storage, but whatever, you can't have everything. Um, yeah, he's he's from what I've heard, and I can sort of understand people's gripes on this. He's the least one of the least successful Studio Series eighty six figures, but he was first wave. Um, so I suppose there's that going for it. Um, what I don't like about this mode um, is this section at the back here does not clip together very well. It's clearly supposed to. Uh, because of this port and post mechanism just here but no matter how hard i try i cannot get that sit flush and uh, no reason why i can't get it to do it. it just it just won't do it. the clearance on it just doesn't allow for it uh which which is a shame um apart from that um i think it's quite cool i i quite like the alt mode on this it it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do uh for the most part i say 99 points over 100 get it right it's that one point at the back here and like sort of the the clearance issue and everything like that for the weapons doesn't doesn't uh sit well with me but whatever um the reason i say cite that as a, as a problem is because you know obviously the studio series 86 figures are slightly higher price point than normal deluxes and things like that um and yet they started um fucking with people uh, with these by remolding them and like recoloring them and putting them in different lines like so for example studio series cup the buzzworthy bumblebee version had a much closer paint scheme to the 86 movie than the official studio series 86 model did i don't own that yet um but i've seen pictures of it and i'm like that, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a fuck to people who bought the the, the first one but whatever so we're going to take this to transformation ladies and gentlemen because there's not really a lot else i can say about the hovering car mode I've uh, just got to try and remember how to do it. I think we need to start by separating these two sections just here. Because everything tabs in. There we are. Start start separating everything like that. Um, and then bring these out to the sides. There we are. I'm making this up as I go along. Um, in fact, I might not say anything throughout the course of the transformation and, and just let you watch what I'm doing. Uh, fold down this seat just here. Like that. Start. I'm pegging all this shit like that and then start trying to get everything out of the way. Bring those out to the sides. Um, we're going to separate the back now like that. Uh, fold out these sections just like this. It's it, I'm not showing any of this on camera, fuck's sake. Um, See, I can see it because I'm looking over the camera, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's, let's try zooming back out a bit. There we are. Um, so from there, we want to start um, folding this back section out for the legs. <sighs> like this. Do the same on the other side. There we are. Fold this little thing in like that, if you were that way inclined. Um, that pops off for some reason. Why did that pop off? Don't don't be fucking popping off anything. Um, that's it. Bring that out. Fold this bit round, I think, like this, and then bring this tab down for the foot, and then that is the leg basically done. I've got a horrible feeling this popped off from the wrong place. Uh, yeah, it did. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so this is going to go on my list of gripes then, quite frankly. Um, there we are. Right, keep those out to the side. Uh, do the same on this side. Bring, bring the leg in, fold it down, lock it in, and then bring the foot down. That's the legs done. Great. Um, then you want to bring this section back. And then bring it down like this. Reveal the head early. Why not? And then do what um, Studio um, not Studio Series, uh, Classics 2.0 Cyclones did with the uh, the arms. Like sort of bring the arm sections around. Tap these in if you can. Um, lock those in. Bring these forward and then bring them back around. And then that will form the arms. And then do the same on the other side. Lock that in. Bring that forward. Spin this round. Bring this section round to the back. And then that is basically no, it's not. Uh, 
Okay, that... What the fuck isn't that working? Oh, God, I've got time for this. Do you know what I mean? Um, right, that, that bends like that. There we are. That spins around. That... Fuck me, gel. Uh, stand the piece of shit up. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, and you also want to uh, flip around this section just here for his chest. And that right there is Studio Series 86 Blur. And you know what? I like the robot mode. I like... I don't so much like the transformation, um, but I like the um, I like the overall styling of the robot mode. Uh, it does look like blur, except, however, let me let me get this in here. That face sculpt there does not look like the uh, the animated movie um, design. He's got some real Cillian Murphy cheekbones going on there. He's got a uh, uh, Bruce Campbell chin thing going on. Therefore, the bottom of his face doesn't quite work. Um, he has got a light piping thing at the back, which sadly is not being shown up with this. Let me let me see if I can't get the, uh, the light behind him. There you are. Uh, there's, a, there's a decent little bit of light piping going on there, for, if you can see that. But the eyes are so fucking small, um, you don't really... You don't really see it. So, uh, yeah, it's the, the transformation is a bit fiddly because there's a lot of clearance issues, as you probably saw or didn't see, depending on how much of that I got on camera. Um, th there's a few clearance issues with, with the terms of trying to get the leg assembly out from underneath the sections that plug into them that would eventually form the arm. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass. I, I expected maybe the transformation to be a little more, um, not necessarily straightforward, but a little more fun than it actually is. Um, we can give him his, his gun. There we are. That fits very nicely into his hand. We'll give him his little repair tool. Why not? That just fits over the hand and then plugs into the uh, the gap. And then he's got uh, articulation, where you'd expect to find articulation. Uh, does he look like the fastest Autobot? I don't know, really. There's something that uh, that doesn't clip in the way it's supposed to. It looks like that's supposed to hold in to that little gap just there. That doesn't do that. Um, the limbs aren't loose exactly, but it's very easy to uh, accidentally manipulate them if, if, you're, if you're not paying attention. So, yeah, I can sort of understand why Blur isn't as good as, um, he necessarily, as you necessarily would think he would be. Um, which is a shame, because uh, I can see what they were going for. The design is certainly there. Actually, do you know what? Let, let's store that in his back. That's that's the other good thing is you can lift this up. I can store this away, and then fucking no problems there whatsoever. Um, this this thing keeps falling down. This is this these these um, back arm guard things are annoying as fuck. It would have been nice if they could have collapsed in on themselves a little bit. Um, but as 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 a result of this, he he becomes very very fiddly. Um, a bit like Titans Returns Weird Wolf was in the sense that I'm trying to do things with him, I'm trying to get him in a particular position, and all he keeps doing is wanting to do his own thing, which is uh, which is slightly fucking annoying. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is Studio Series 86 Blur in all his dubious glory. He's not the worst figure in the world, but I, he is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, if you want to try and do something particular with him, and then it, the, the limbs and everything decide that they, they're going to position themselves the way they want to position themselves, um, I can see how frustration would um, see what I mean. It's like I'm trying to position him, and he wants to lean back now. Like just fucking stop it. Um, yeah, a little bit frustrating when he didn't have to be frustrating, um, but at the same time, not the worst piece of shit I've got in my collection. So make make your own judgments on that, really. Um, so thank you very much for watching this review. This is Joe Gavin Barry, also known as Wolfgang One, saying I'll be back next week with uh, more shit. I think I'm going to do. Uh, a re-evaluation of Masterpiece Sideswipe because I've decided I think I'm going to get rid of my Masterpiece boxes and free up two shelves in my wardrobe. Um, so in order to do my Masterpieces over time, I'm going to do them with the boxes and then throw away the boxes. Uh, same with this one, actually. I'm going to throw away the box for this, this cunt here. So thank you for watching. I will see you next week. Until we see each other again, take care. How about tomorrow?